Hello everyone, we are showing how to use the AM5N mount. The AM5N and the TC40 carbon fiber tripod are shown. The TC40 carbon fiber tripod includes a body, locking knob, spikes, three leg holder, multifunction support rod, tripod head plate, and a weight bag. The AM5N mount includes the body, hand controller, hand controller cable, a USB cable, M6 Allen key, a quick guide, and a periodic air test report. 1. Mounting the body on the tripod. Adjust the tripod to the desired height. Tighten and stabilize the tripod. Tie on the weight bag. You can use the spikes with the tripod in snow or grass. Attach the plate. Align the three holes. Screw in three M6 screws with the Allen key. Install the plate. Mount the body to the tripod. Lock the knob, install the rod forward, tighten clockwise, attach to the holder, lock the knob, the mount is now assembled. Install the assembled telescope on the dovetail saddle. Make latitude and azimuth angle adjustments. Align the polar axis. Pay attention to the orientation and weight of the telescope when installing it to prevent it from tipping over. It is recommended to add the pier extension when using a large aperture telescope. If the combined weight of the telescope end exceeds 15 kilograms, you need to install the counterweight. Find the screw hole on the bottom. Screw down the screw counterclockwise. Install the counterweight rod. Tighten clockwise. Attach the counterweight. Tighten the end screw. 2. Latitude and azimuth adjustment. The latitude adjustment is divided into two gears. How to adjust from the first to second gear. Release the two side latitude lock knobs. Turn the latitude fine adjustment knob clockwise. Adjust the latitude angle to 40 degrees and the Allen screws will be fully visible through the holes. The mount defaults to equatorial mode. The latitude angle is between 0 and 60 degrees. Loosen the Allen screws on both sides counterclockwise. Adjust the mount. Slide the Allen screws to the lower edge of the hole. Retighten the Allen screws on both sides. Continue to turn the knob clockwise for a 30 degree to 90 degree latitude angle adjustment. Tighten the latitude fine adjustment knob. Azimuth adjustment procedure. Turn the azimuth fine adjustment knob directly to adjust the azimuth angle. 3. Hand controller operation. Connect the hand controller to the hand controller port with the matching cable. The stick can be used as a button to switch speeds from slow to fast. Tracking button, click to enable or stop tracking. Cancel button, click to cancel a function such as cancel go to. Long press three seconds to return to the in position. Four, how to operate the mount using your cell phone. After the mount is powered on, observe the status light indicator. The red light on for the first 5 seconds means that it is in equatorial mode. The constant green light represents the mode of altazimuth mount. After 5 seconds, if there is no synchronized time in place, the light will flash red and green alternately. At this time, the mount is unable to perform operations such as go to. Search for Sky Atlas in the App Store, or scan the QR code on the case. Download the app. Connect the AM5N Wi-Fi, open the app, in the app interface there are target field of view settings, ASI mount settings, and app settings. Open the magnifier icon, go to tonight's best, select the target, go to operation is available. You can see the go to status in the sky atlas. 5. Mode switch. With the power off, adjust the latitude angle to 90 degrees. Keep the cancel button pressed and held. Turn on the power. When you hear the beep, the indicator light turns green. Release the cancel button. Enter the altazimuth mode. To switch the equatorial mount mode in the power off state, press and hold the cancel button while pressing the power on off button. The indicator light turns red. Switching is successful. 6. How to connect the mount using Bluetooth. The AM5N has added Bluetooth functionality. You can connect wirelessly without the hand controller. 
connect the mount via Sky Atlas app, open the app, select ASI mount settings, in choose connection method select Bluetooth and follow the prompts. When the connection is successful the Bluetooth light indicator will turn off. Now you're ready for imaging. That's it for the AM5N tutorial. Thanks for watching.